So I was thinking earlier today, if I ever get married and have a daughter, I want her to look just like me, so guys never hit on her. Hey, what's going on guys? Sandy here, and welcome back to some more Trollcraft. Now, dudes, today, I, I, I know today's Thursday. I get it. I usually play uh, Trollcraft on Friday, but t today's Thursday, but... Here's the deal. I am falling far behind in the points, and uh, I think what I'm going to do, and this is going to be completely up to you guys. Uh, of course, I'm going to upload this video today on Thursday, but also, if you guys want me to play this tomorrow also and do a, a, a two-day-in-a-row troll craft... <laughs> Let me know. Either hit that like button down below or I don't freaking know. Go sing PPAP -P -P to your family. <laughs> oh gosh, so dudes, today I want to catch up. As you can see on the scoreboard, I am like 13 points behind. We're gonna fix that. First thing I wanna do, uh hey, hello Captain Sparkles. Yeah, that looks good. <laughs> Oh, what the frig is wrong with me? So today I have a lot planned. Um, we're first gonna go back to my house in a little bit. Uh, my family, you'll see in a second. But what I'm gonna do to catch up in points, let's look through these achievements, right? Because we get a point per achievement. So let's look through these. Yeah, and then later on in this episode, I have like three trolls planned. <laughs> this should be good. Okay, so first achievement is this. Add on the extras. A garden, which I have inside my house. A security fence. A nice floor. You deserve it. I have the nice pink floor, so all I need to do now is add a security gate. Was easy enough. There you go, Zine. Are you satisfied? Check. <laughs> okay, next one. Put together everything you need to make basic tinkers, tools, and craft a stone pickaxe, which I have done. Check that off. And then this one, customize a favorite tool with at least four different modifiers, which if you look at my, uh, in between episodes, I leveled up my pickaxe to Alumite and I went mining. But look at this. I have three different uh, modifiers, Reinforced, Emerald, and Redstone. So if I go here, take this. Hold on, let's first fix our pickaxe. There we go. And then if I put Lapis on this, that'll be four different modifiers. There we go. So now I can check this off. Let's keep going. Okay, next page. A green thumb. Help your crops flourish through a sprinkler system. Which I've done. You remember this system. Okay, let's check that off. Successfully improve a crop to 555 or higher. I've also done that. Look at this seed. This pumpkin seed is 765. Five. Let's check that off. Raise and harvest the legendary Diam Achillea. <laughs> that seed, which is right here. So let's check that off. Let's keep going. Okay, uh, what is this one? Uh gather ye some merry old osmium, which is that blue, uh, that blue ore right here. So let's check that off. Uh, infuse some enriched iron and smelt your first steel ingot. Remember, we did that last episode. And then this one here, take to the skies with a jetpack. <laughs> oh, and this one here, put together an, ador an adorable little generator that runs off of coal. I have also done that. You remember that from last episode? Check. I didn't even know I did this one. Land someone some items they're low on. We're all in this together, comrade. Remember I gave Craner, I think it was last episode, that uh, diamond seed? <laughs> Check. Okay, let's keep going. <sighs> ah, freaking zine. Look at these two achievements. Gain a proper appreciation for just how massive the island is. Yes, I've I, I've been around the world. I've been around the island, and it, it's huge. Let me check that off. And then the next one, it says, After marking this is huge complete, which I just did, look into the camera with a sultry smile 
waggle your eyebrows and say, I don't really know how to move my eyebrow. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> there you go, Zine. Ch check. Alright, so let's do this. It, if you hadn't noticed, my... My family is gone. <laughs> I just got Felicia too. <laughs> and it says here for the monster. So I'm guessing this is Captain Sparkles. There's a book in here. I haven't read this book. I've only been on the server setting stuff up for this episode. And uh, let's go get our family. What does this say? It says, Ian, you once took all that I held near and dear to my heart. Then you tried to do it again. <laughs> Remember when I... Oh gosh, when I tried to kill Edgar and Steve again? I wonder how that went. Uh, anyways, okay, it says, For that you shall pay. You may notice some people missing around your home. Dig beneath the room which told you how much of a monster you are, and you may find those who you love and hold dearest. Ya boy. <laughs> Okay, so I gotta dig down here. Ah. Okay. What? I... Is it down here? Uh, Jordan, where did you put... He put them in a jail cell. Oh, oh, no, Felicia! Felicia! I don't know what to do to stop! <laughs> What's in this? A child's doll? Stacy the farmer? He just murdered Stacy and Felicia. <laughs> oh, gosh. Well, I have lost two wives now Rip, Gertrude, and Felicia. <laughs> Uh, Captain Sparkles, you will pay. You will pay. Well, well played, Captain Sparkles. Well played. And again, guys, this is Trollcraft. We're gonna be killing each other. We're gonna be killing each other's loved ones. It's all in the name. It's all Trollcraft. So don't go hating on uh, Captain Sparkles videos. Just know that we will return the favor soon enough. <laughs> But what I'm gonna do now, I've set up some stuff to, uh, get some machines going. I have a, a smeltery going here. I got a bunch of stuff going. What I'm gonna do this episode, I want to make, and I made these here, look at this, Tesseract Frames. I went mining in between episodes and I got a bunch of Ender Pearls because whenever I press I, right, you see my skills up in the top right. You see the little gold pickaxe that has 40 on it. My mining is currently level 40. Once you hit 35, whenever you go mining, you have a chance of dropping an ender pearl, which I use that to, uh, I'm going to be making some tesseracts, which I'll show you what I'm going to use these for in a second. First, let me set this up. I want to make two specific power generators. So I should have everything. Uh, yeah, we have the, the conduit or, uh, or the iron. Our conductive iron and basic control circuit. Okay, so if we do this, and then if we need to create a bunch of these solar panels. Okay, there we go. I guess let's create one for now, just so I can show you how to do it, and, th and then I want to do something. <laughs> this is going to be good. Okay, so that. Okay, there we go. One solar generator. Okay. 
Now the next thing I want to do, it's called a wind... Yeah, wind turbine. Which I'm pretty sure I have everything. So if this goes here, two energy tablets there, with a basic control circuit and then the osmium ingots, there we go. Wind turbine. Now all I need to do is make the cables like... That, there we go, energy conduit. Now what I can do is if I put this here, yeah, there we go. Yeah, I just need to connect it to the energy conduits. Ah, uh, maybe not. Look at, look at the power. If you look up top middle, this one wind turbine is already at 80,000 RF. That is insane. Look at this. <laughs> I mean, that's a lot of power, but it's not enough. We're gonna fix that. <laughs> Give me a minute. So since I only have one wind turbine and one solar generator, I have an idea. <laughs> we have these tesseract frames, right? So what we need to do, if we throw this tesseract frame in there, and then put the resonant ender on the bottom and pour that, there we go. So now if we take the tesseract frames, and I believe it's silver on the inside, and then is it iron? No, I think it's bronze. Yeah, I think it's bronze. So silver on the inside, and then bronze on the outside, and there we go. Now we have tesseracts. For you guys that remember what tesseracts are, what I can do is, let's say I put a tesseract uh, right here, right? And then I set this up to where it's set on the power mode. So this thing is receiving and sending power. Let's go do this. <laughs> I've got to find a good way to actually hide this, though. Hold it. <laughs> so I'm at Craner's house right now. This is his power farm. He has a crap ton of solar panels and wind uh, turbines, but I only have one of each. <laughs> Let's set this up. So I'm going <laughs> to... I'm gonna put this right there, set it to the power mode, configure it to where it's sending and receiving energy. There we go. Now I just have to hide this. So what I'm doing, I'm siphoning Craner's power. And I'm gonna hide this to where he doesn't even know it's happening. <laughs> this Tesseract is sending all the power back to my house. <laughs> This is good. This is good. Yeah, I think that's hidden pretty good. <laughs> I just built up his house a little bit with these stone bricks, and it's hidden back there. Oh, hold on, let me select that. There we go. Okay, this should... This should be good. So now I'm just siphoning power from Craner. We still have another Tesseract. I'm pretty sure you can guess what we're gonna do with this one. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure Captain Sparkle's power... He uses, uh, 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 yeah, these here, the big reactors mod. So, okay, so let's do this. What I'm gonna do, uh, where does this thing, uh, what is this? Okay, where, where does his, oh, his power's right here. Okay, so there's his power lines looping around. I gotta find a good hiding spot for this. Hold on. So there's his power lines. I gotta hide this pretty good. So if we put it there. Right, and then set it up to where it's extracting power. <laughs> and then fill this back in with stone, right? That is really hard to see. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. And then let's fill this in. Just so it looks like it's naturally... There we go. <laughs> we are siphoning power from both Craner and Captain Sparkles. <laughs> This is good. Hey, this is this is why I play Minecraft. Okay, so what <laughs> What I want to do now, hold on, let me uh hold on, let me yeah, let me fill this in really quick. Make it look like I was never here. Yeah, that looks good. <laughs> oh, we are stealing endless amounts of power. This is good. So what I'm going to do in between episodes, right? 
Uh, I'm going to, uh, I, I want to set up a crap ton of automation. I really want to catch up. I want to get some materials going. You dudes know me. I like automation. So that's what I'm going to do in between episodes. Automate some stuff with our newfound power. <laughs> okay, so what I want to do now. Zane and Kian told me that they put a village northwest up here. So what I'm going to do, let me go back home. I want some emeralds and diamonds. We need to go find ourselves a new wife. And we also need to find another person for this troll on Craner. This should be good. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we have everything for Craner. Dudes, keep in mind, this troll is going to be freaking morbid. <laughs> This is gonna be good. And it, the reason why I'm trolling Craner back right now is if you remember last episode, he killed me. So, uh, I had to plan something for him. So let's head northwest to see if we can find... He said it's like a tree village. I have no clue. But let's look for this. And uh, also, we need to get Captain Sparkles back for killing Felicia and Stacy. If you guys can think of anything... Let me know. It's gotta be equally as morbid. <laughs> okay. Oh, is that it? Is that the... That is... Look at the house up there! Zine! That is sick looking! Ke I, don't, I think it was either Zine or Kian. That thing is sick looking! Okay, he's, they said there's villagers in here. Yeah, look at this! They made a nice tree village. Oh, look! Ka Catherine! Hello, Catherine the Toolsmith. You, ma'am, are gonna come with me. <laughs> I'll show you why in a second. Let me find one more. Uh, what is this? A bird bath. Okay, let me find one more. Look at this. There's little... He look. A Ada. He hello, Ada the Miner. You, ma'am, you are going to have to fall in love with me. <laughs> Like I said, Captain Sparkles killed our Felicia. We gotta find ourselves a new wife. Hello, Ada. Let's interact. She is not married. So let's gift her... Uh, gee, let's gift her some emeralds. <laughs> She's already falling in love with me. Gift her again. Look at that. Let's gift her some diamonds. And now she's already in love with me. Let's, uh, let's interact and kiss. <laughs> Ada is now in love with me. <laughs> now, dudes, I have a question for you. I made this villager editor, which is really simple. I can rename this Ada anything. So pick a new name for my new girlfriend. Let me know what you think of. Okay, Ada, what I want you to do, uh, follow me back to home. Welcome home, new girlfriend. C come in here. C come in here. I'm gonna try to hide you this time. <laughs> okay, let's set here. Set home. <laughs> All right, Ada, you sit here and watch my sewage farm. Th thank you. <laughs> let's set this troll up on Craner. This is gonna be good. So check this out. Inside of Craner's house, he has Beatrice, his wife, and uh, he also has a daughter named Sunday's number one hater. <laughs> Let's fix this. Look, we have twins. <laughs> so this is the girl that I just got from the tree. This is Craner's daughter. What I'm gonna do, hold on, let me change the name of her, his daughter. Sunday's number one f fan. <laughs> now what I'm gonna do, take Craner's daughter and put her in the golden lasso. Now the fake Craner's daughter, I have something planned for her. Come over here, daughter, and here we go. <laughs> This is good. This is gonna be a good one. So, uh, what this is, there's gonna be a trap door over here, right, where the pig's at. And how this is gonna work, when Craner opens up this chest, it says, your daughter is a fan now, right? Whenever Craner opens up this chest, it has a music disc and a villain Craner book. And when Craner opens up the chest, it's gonna set off a chain reaction, which slowly ticks down. Now watch this. When Craner listens to this, check this out. Hey Craner, so I noticed that villain Craner is back. And I told you before, don't let villain Craner surface again. 
I tried to ignore it, but you struck again. And with that being said... Villain Derp Sunday is back. You will learn, Villain Craner. If you want your family to stick around for a long time, you better subdue Villain Craner. And you may notice at this point, you will hear a noise in your base. You better go check on your daughter. You may never see her again. <laughs> So what's going to happen is I'm going to set up a timer that as soon as that click noise happens in the music disc, it's going to activate this over here. Dropping. Hold on, hold on. Let me activate this. Yeah, look at that. Dropping the... <laughs> and I'm going to set this up. I'm going to set up all the timing. I have uh, all the redstone repeaters. I have everything I need to make this work. Let's put the fake daughter here. There, <laughs> there we go. Let's take the uh, his real daughter with us. And what we're gonna do when his fake daughter dies, we're gonna make him live with that death for a week. And then we're gonna reveal it to him that it wasn't his real daughter. <laughs> true morbidness but uh anyways dudes for now i'm gonna end this here hope you guys are still enjoying this series and if you are be sure to hit that like button down below and if you're at all new to my channel be sure to hit that subscribe button i got a lot of timing to do i gotta set this up perfectly this is gonna be good we'll see you dudes next time